seasons at American University, three WNIT berths, and two Patriot League Championship game appearances, Matt Corkery moved on to coach in his home state of Texas. Taking over at American is another coach who is returning close to a place where she calls home. A native of Frederick, Maryland, Megan Jebbia takes over the reins at American and she joins us today via Skype on the Patriot League Network. Hi coach, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. First of all, welcome to the Patriot League. Can you tell us about how excited you are to be coaching at American University? Uh, this is such a great opportunity for me just because, like you said earlier, that it's a, it's a place that I call home. Uh, a lot of friends and family, I hope, to, to come out to games and support us. And American is such a great school academically, and it just fits the type of style and student athlete that I, uh, that I would like to recruit. You come to American after spending 10 years at Marist, seven of which you were the associate head coach. Can you talk about stepping into the head coaching ranks and who influenced you along the way? Uh, well, uh, the head coaching part has been a lot of fun for me. Just that now you have that opportunity to make decisions uh, before as an assistant for, for 18 years. It was a lot of suggestions. Um, and, and Coach George just has been awesome in, in developing me as a coach and just as a person, uh, you know, and how you handle things that happen within your program um, and just, you know, playing against great opponents and, and preparing and just the knowledge of the game and everything has been a wonderful opportunity for me. So he's been very influential for me. And just, you know, everybody, uh, all the friends I have in the business have always said, you know, when are you going to make that move? When are you going to make that jump? And uh, I told them that it had to be the, the right situation. And uh, this came along, you know, not at the best time of year, but it came along and it was the right situation. So I, I decided to make the move. Well, looking at your team this season, you're stepping into a really good situation as you return the three top scorers from last year in Alexis Dobbs, Jen Dumiak, and Jaleesa George. What have you seen from each player thus far in practice? Uh, it's been great with those three. I tell you, it's, it's nice to have that type of leadership from the upperclassmen. Um, I know that they're all freshmen technically this year because they're learning a completely new and different style of play. But, you know, the fact that they have game experience uh, is always helpful. And, you know, just running drills and, and they seem to pick things up a lot faster. Um, their fundamentals are more sound than maybe the younger players. Uh, so they've been they've been really welcoming and warm and just wanting to get ready and get going. They can't wait for the season to start. Well, Alexis is more than just a scorer. She's a big time defender and she's also a scholar athlete. Is she one of those players who can really help you settle in at American? Yes, she's been awesome. She's been up in the office a lot, talking to me, asking questions. She's very inquisitive about the things that we're doing. And she, you know, just as a person in general, you, you just don't find a better person, player, uh, student athlete that, that really um, kind of demonstrates what the Patriot League is all about. And she's just, uh, she's been incredible so far. Who else on the roster stands out? Are there any young players, freshmen or sophomores, who you believe could really make an impact this season? Yeah, there's there's actually a few. The, I have to give kudos out to Matt because he, he brought in a really good freshman class that, uh, for whatever reason, really fits the style that I'm trying to play. So those two have picked up on it pretty quickly, um, which has been a nice surprise for me because usually, you know, it's freshmen are the ones that are really la lacking. Um, with just the understanding of the college game, but they, they really have come in and prepared themselves. Uh, we have some juniors and some sophomores that are learning and developing um, that are going to play some minutes for us this year. And I, I really believe that all every player on this team could get minutes. It's just a matter of how many minutes and what games and things like that. But they all have the ability to play, and they all played last year. So it's not like I have somebody on the roster that just never stepped foot in a game before, aside from the freshmen. <laughs> You mentioned bringing in a new style. Could you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, um, it's a little different than, than what they've played in the past in that it's a, um, a five-out open post motion that, that I ran with Coach Georges, and it's basically his offense. Um, it allows some freedom. Uh, for the players, it's 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 you can't control what they do. It's just a matter of reading screens and, and all those types of things that gives them uh, and basically allows them to play to their strengths. You know, whatever their strengths are within the offense, they find ways to use that. Um, and it's it's a hard offense to scout, I think, because I don't know what they're going to be doing out on the floor. So um, I'm not sure the opponents will know either. Um, so in that way, in that regard, they're really excited because they feel like that's going to help them uh, down the down the road. Now, you're not the only newcomer to the league, as the Patriot League has welcomed in a pair of new schools in Boston U and Loyola. Are you excited to join a conference that's just growing and getting stronger? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm very familiar with Loyola because they came from the MAC. 
Um, so Joe Logan's a great guy. Uh, love love playing against him. We're just good friends, and you know he'll bring some energy and excitement and some athleticism to the league as well as BU. Um, usually, when I was at Marist, we played BU almost every year. It seemed um, very talented team. Kelly does a great job with those those kids, and uh, they're going to bring the level of the league up as well. And that's what you want. You want more teams, a lot of excitement, um, a lot of competition. Um, so that the league gets better and we continue to grow. Well, Coach, thanks so much for your time today. Good luck this season. All right. Thank you so much.